Hello everyone, welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I am Shiny Tatajire and I am back again with a new civil engineering video. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Shiny Tatajire and press the bell icon for instant updates. In this video, we will learn the different types of steel reinforcement used in RCC structures. The very first thing that arises in our mind is why we provide reinforcement in RCC structure. So let's try to find out this reason first. Concrete is generally weak in tension and so it is to be reinforced properly with a suitable material. Now let's see the purpose of providing reinforcement in RCC structure. Reinforcement is provided so that it take up all the tensile stresses that are developed in the structure. Reinforcement is also provided to increase the strength of the concrete sections. Reinforcement is also provided to make the sections thinner as compared to plain concrete section. It is used to prevent the formation of cracks developed due to temperature and shrinkage stresses. Now we will talk about the types of reinforcement that are commonly used in our country India. The first type of reinforcement is mild steel plain bar. Mild steel plain bar is also known as FE 250 grade steel. The relevant IS code for mild steel is IS 432 1996 part 1. The next one is HYST bars. It is the abbreviated form of high yield strength deformed bars. HYST bars are available in two grades that is FE 415 and FE 500. FE415 grade is also known as TOR40 and FE500 grade is also known as TOR50. The relevant IS code for HYST bars is IS1786-1979. The third type of reinforcement is TMT bars. TMT stands for Thermomechanically Treated Bars. The fourth type of steel reinforcement is rolled steel members and the corresponding IS code is IS-226-1975 and the last one is hard drawn steel wire fabric and the corresponding IS code for this steel reinforcement is IS-1566-1967. Now we will understand why steel is the best suitable reinforcing material in RCC structures. Steel is the best reinforcement material because it fulfills almost all the characteristics required for a reinforcing material. It has a very high tensile strength. It is highly elastic in nature. Steel is ductile in nature. This results in sufficient burning time before failure. It has a longer life and is easily available in any parts of India. It can develop good bond with concrete as its coefficient of expansion is nearly equal to that of concrete. Now we will see some important points to be noted about mild steel reinforcement. Mild steel plane bars are represented by the symbol phi. Although mild steel plane bars are very ductile, but they are not preferred over high yield strength deformed bars because of their less strength and weak bond. They are used as lateral ties in columns and at places where nominal reinforcement is required. Now we will see some important points to be noted for TMT bars. TMT is the abbreviated form of thermomechanically treated bars. TMT steel is the new generation high strength steel having superior properties as compared to common HYST bars. In India, SAIL that is Steel Authority of India Limited, Tata Steel and RINL that is Rashtriya Ispat Nigam Limited which is popularly known as Vizag Steel are producing TMT bars. Now we will see the benefits of TMT bars. A TMT bar has a very high yield strength, it has excellent ductility, it is earthquake resistant, it has better weldability and also it has superior corrosion resistance. Now we will see some important points to be noted for CRS bars. CRS stands for corrosion resistant steel bars. In India, SAIL that is Steel Authority of India Limited and TISCO that is Tata Iron and Steel Company are producing CRS bars. CRS bars are manufactured by addition of copper and chromium so as to prevent them from rust and corrosion. Now we will see the specifications of different grades of steel. 
so the different grades of steel you can see here are mild steel high yield strength deformed bars which is known as hyst bars and crs or tmt bars crs stands for corrosion resisting steel and tmt means thermomechanically treated bars the grade of mild steel is fe250 hyst bar has three grades that is fe415 fe500 and fe550 as we have learned earlier that fe415 is also known as tor40 fe500 is also called as tor50 and fe550 is also known as tor55 now the grade of crs or tmt bar is fe500 now we will see the characteristic strength of steel of different grades the first one is mild steel so for mild steel the characteristic strength is 250 newton per millimeter square for hyst bar that is fe415 the characteristic strength is 415 newton per millimeter square for fe500 it is 500 newton per millimeter square for fe 550 it is 550 newton per millimeter square and for crs or tmt bar it is the same it is 500 newton per millimeter square now we will see the minimum percentage elongation for different grades of steel for fe 250 that is for mild steel it is in the range of 20 to 23 percent but in general we take it as 23 percent for HYST bar, that is for FE415, it is 14.5%. For FE500, it is 12%. For FE550, it is 8%. And for TMT bar, that is FE500, it is 12%. Thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and share it with your friends. Meet you all soon in a new civil engineering video.